Many of you are familiar with post-traumatic stress disorder. Whether it's a returning war veteran or a survivor of a mass shooting, PTSD is a problem that can last indefinitely. But as Tim Lammers reports, the condition can be treated and in some cases actually prevented by knowing what to do and when to do it before PTSD steps in. This cell phone video was shot almost immediately after the Colorado movie theater shootings. Understandably, you see people running, screaming, but you also see some people appear strangely calm. Others seem dazed. One man is standing there with his arms folded as if nothing was going on. Now, we don't know how many of these people were actually inside the theater, but one local doctor says all those reactions would be considered normal if they were, and not post-traumatic stress disorder. At least, not yet. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is a survival response that continues long after it's actually needed. It technically can't start for 30 days. However, when the symptoms start to become a problem, could be as early as three days, four days, a week, and that we call acute stress disorder. That's a precursor to post-traumatic stress disorder. Some of the behaviors which were normal at the time of the trauma become red flags a week later. Keep your eye out for two symptoms in particular. Dissociation. That's where you feel as though you're kind of spaced out, things don't quite seem real. It's almost as if you're a stranger in a strange land. Also, the inability to disconnect from memories of the trauma at all. Not being able to put the memory or parts of the memory out of one's mind, that, that is something that should be taken as a concern. Survivors will need to talk about it, just not necessarily in the first couple of days after the trauma. There's evidence to suggest that that's really premature in the first few days. And when it comes to therapy, you might think that the goal is to take all those memories and their associated emotions and get them out of your head. Actually, Dr. Ford says the opposite is true. Most traumatic memories, at least at the outset, are very fragmented. We help to reorganize and complete the memory, and we help to actually manage and, and recognize the value of emotions in current day life. And together, that can be a very powerful package. In Farmington, I'm Tim Lammers, Fox, Connecticut.